Hydrogen is the fuel for the future because in a very short, blunt sense, it doesn't leave a carbon footprint. When you burn hydrogen, what you're going to produce, of course, is water. The process of photosynthesis involves the uh, plant taking up water and uh, carbon dioxide and then through the action of sunlight converting that to basically an energy rich fuel. So essentially artificial photosynthesis is where we have some sort of synthetic material or compound which is able to perform the same function that the plant is doing, taking in the key, uh, if you like, molecular architecture that the plant has and then is able to split water. Water is H2O, oxygen and hydrogen. It's enormously important to us as that, but of course it contains hydrogen, which is in fact the renewable fuel for the future. And what photosynthesis has essentially perfected is how to remove that hydrogen from water in a form which if we could mimic, we could in fact use that chemistry to convert electricity into hydrogen very, very efficiently. We have the opportunity to learn one of nature's fundamental secrets, to learn from nature how to do a really, really difficult job and to do it, as, as far as we can tell, to the absolute limits that is chemically possible. And in fact, the plant figured out how to do that about three billion years ago and changed the world.